So everyone keeps telling you, just do leak code and you'll get hired. But has anyone ever stopped to think that is the whole point of doing leak code just to pass interviews? Or have we forgotten the real purpose of solving leak code? And don't get me wrong, it's totally fine if you're doing it to just crack the interviews. We've all been there. But the problem is most people completely forget why leak code even exists in the first place. Leak code is not a ritual for tech interviews. It's about checking the problem solving and critical thinking of a candidate. And if you focus on memorizing the solutions for the interview or getting that green color on the test cases to satisfy your ego, you might be missing a lot in the long term. And this is also one of the reasons why most people struggle with leak code, even after grinding for months. So in this video, I will tell you how you should be doing leak code the right way and why you should do it as a habit on a daily basis, even when you're not aiming to crack an interview. See, the cool thing about leak code is that it's basically the gym for your brain. The more you train, the better you get at using your brain. You're not just solving random coding puzzles. You're training your mind to solve problems, to think logically, and to spot patterns faster. Every time you solve one of those little coding puzzles, you're actually building habits that make you a better developer in the real world. You learn how to reason through edge cases, how to find smarter solutions, how to optimize your code, and most importantly, how to convert your logic into code. The best thing is these skills sneak into your day-to-day -day work without you even noticing. You start debugging faster, writing cleaner code, and thinking in terms of efficiency. And that's just in the coding space. The problem-solving mindset you build will be reflected into everything. You'll get good at solving problems in real world too. And one thing I have noticed after doing leak code is that we tend to be less scared with the bugs and errors. That's because we have developed the habit of facing these failures and also developed the habit of solving them. So yeah, leak code isn't just about cracking interviews. It's about training your brain to think like an engineer. That's the part nobody really talks about. Now let's talk about what happens when you do leak code only for interviews. And yeah, this one's going to sting a little. You see a lot of people go full speed in a grind mode. They're like, okay, I'll solve 300 questions in three months. And they actually do it. It becomes this weird ritual. Open leak code, try for half an hour. If you can't solve, look up the solution, copy paste, and boom. Green tick. And don't get me wrong here. It's okay to look up the solution if you can't solve it, but what you don't want to do is memorize the solution rather than actually understanding the logic behind it. If you just try to memorize, it doesn't actually make you better. Because memorizing isn't the same as learning. You might get through an interview, but the moment you face a slightly twisted version of that problem, you can't solve it. I've seen so many people spend months grinding questions, but when they actually get a problem they solve a month ago, they freeze. So yeah, doing leak code just for interviews might help you survive the test, but it won't help you grow as a developer. And that's why most people burn out when doing leak code. So if grinding questions mindlessly is the wrong approach, what's the right one? The real magic happens when you focus on learning and not just increasing the solve question list. Take one problem, really think it through. Don't just copy paste or memorize. Struggle with it. Try different approaches, and the main thing is do this daily. If you're appearing for an interview, you may want to give more time, but if you are not, make a routine of solving at least one leak code problem a day. Try to understand why a solution works. Look at how other people solve the same question. This kind of habit is what makes you a stronger developer. And here's a bonus. Not just your problem-solving skill increases, your familiarity with the programming language also improves. You'll develop the habit of writing code, and you'll get comfortable with the syntax. So, to sum it all up, Lee code isn't just a pass interview. It's a tool to train your brain, build problem-solving muscles, and level up as a developer. The trick is to focus on learning, not just memorizing, and make it a daily habit of solving at least one problem a day. If you take one thing away from this video, that is, stop obsessing over how many questions you have solved and start thinking about improving yourself. So if this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. Share your thoughts on this topic, and I'll see you guys in the next one.